Hello, my name is Marissa Singley with Team Flower Power. Our group consists of Cody Pettit, Nick Reed, myself, Eric Hammond, and Scott Castoris. We are a group of mechanical engineering students working on our senior design project from Ohio University. This year, our project partner was ATCO and PassionWorks. ATCO is a training center for adults with developmental disabilities. They offer vocational, life skill, and work training programs that benefit their employees. ATCO partners with PassionWorks Art Studio to create the Passion Flower. The flower begins as ink-covered aluminum lithographic printing plates from a local newspaper. These plates are cleaned and then painted by the artists at ATCO with developmental disabilities. The painted plates are stamped into petals and assembled into a flower to be sold at PassionWorks Studio. They come in several sizes and colors. With the process in mind, we wanted to focus on the part of the process that had the least to do with the employees with disabilities. This led us to the cleaning process. ATCO identified this process as a priority for improvement and as an opportunity for our team to provide technical assistance. This is currently done by an ATCO staff member spraying the sheet with a pressure washer. Since the cleaning process relies on a gas-powered pressure washer to remove the ink, this task must be performed outside, limiting its use to the warmer months. In addition, safety regulations mandate that an employee with a disability cannot run the machine. Based on the inefficiencies of the current system, we were tasked with creating a machine that could clean the metal plates year-round and reduce wasted resources. Furthermore, this machine should create at least one job for individuals with disabilities to promote the mission of ATCO. For our design, the pressure washer was replaced with a rotating brush and a fluid rinse system. Since safety is our number one concern, we implemented several safety features which include emergency stops, plastic coverings around the brush, and a metal covering around the drive system. On the left, Operator 1 removes the sheet from the pre-soak bin and places it into the ski system. The ski system utilizes two front hooks to ensure proper loading and two push tabs in the rear to push the dirty plate under the brush. We chose a cylindrical brush slightly larger than the plate to ensure they are cleaned in one pass. The brush is driven by a one horsepower motor and spins in a counterclockwise direction to aid in the translation of the plate through the system. We also implemented a fluid recycling system that aids in the removal of the ink using a mild chemical solution called crud cutter. The fluid flows down the table from left to right and is caught in a basin on the right. It is then recycled into the system via a pump. Through iterative design and close correspondence with ATCO staff, we developed the Flower Power Metal Cleaning Machine. Through safe, user-friendly, indoor operation, this machine meets all the needs of ATCO to replace the previous cleaning method. This is Ethan and John's first time using our machine. Before operation, we wanted to ensure they knew how to properly turn off the machine in case of, it, of an emergency via the emergency stops. Then we began training the cleaning process. It began by Ethan removing a plate from the pre-soak bin. He then placed it on the ski system using the locating features. Once the plate was nestled into the front hooks and push tabs, Ethan proceeded to push the plate through the system. Since the brush is spinning in a counterclockwise direction, Ethan had no difficulty pushing the plate through. Once the clean plate emerged, John removed it from the machine and placed it in the rinse tub. Ethan pulled the skis back through the system and was then asked a question. What do you think, Ethan? Think that's something you can do for a job? Well, oh yeah. <laughs> I'd say it's absolutely comparable. When you pressure wash, it comes out looking basically exactly like that. And how how does it compare in speed? Is it faster or slower? It's much faster. Much faster. Yeah. We'll be able to clean metal year-round. We'll be able to 
clean a more uh, significant amount of metal, uh, we'll be able to keep up on our needs. I see it, it creates two jobs for the individuals that we serve. And uh, it's not always the same two people, so it may actually create uh, half a dozen or so jobs. And uh, uh, this is just going to make our life so much easier. We're going to have quite a few individuals that will be able to operate this machine um, who don't necessarily work right now. So now we've created employment for them. I was really impressed with how quickly Ethan was able to catch mm -hmm. on and how enthusiastic he was. And I'm really impressed with the uh, emergency shutoff switch and both John and Ethan immediately knew how to use it. It, it, it was convenient and, and, and just a great safety feature. I, I love how the safety is built into this machine. What do you think? Keep going. <laughs> do you like it? Yeah, I do. Is it easier? Well, you, 